Welcome to Feng Shui Living, a podcast for busy women looking to de-stress and live with more intention. I'm Lisa Morton, and I'm passionate about helping you create a home that not only inspires you, but empowers you. Years ago, I was severely struggling with my mental health and wellness, and while I'd implemented yoga, meditation, therapy, and more, I just could not find that missing piece of the puzzle. And that was until I explored my home. You see, the interior designer in me had made it beautiful, but it wasn't supporting me energetically. Fast forward, and I've now been in the interior design industry for 20 years, and I've devoted the past 10 years to feng shui and a holistic design approach. In this podcast, I'll be sharing with you interviews, stories, and knowledge, as well as some super easy, simple tips that you can take on today. If you're looking to be more intentional and create a life and home that you love, then you're in the right place. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to Feng Shui Living. I'm your host, Lisa Morton, and today I have in a feng shui audit episode for you. I'm so excited, and I'm so excited to introduce you to Sandy Bartlett. How are you doing, Sandy? I'm doing great. I'm excited to be here. I can't wait to hear what you have to say. Nice. So Sandy and I actually met um, through a um, business group that we are both a part of. And it's always funny because I hear Sandy's voice and I'm like, Sandy, you should be a podcaster. You have this beautiful voice. <laughs> it's on the to-do so, list. <laughs> Sandy, wh- <laughs> Sandy, why don't you tell everyone um, a little bit about yourself and what you do? Sure. I am a self-discovery coach for women. And uh, it's my passion and my mission to help women live their authentic life, to fully embrace who they are and not hide. Um, I did that for years. I felt like, and I've just often described myself as a chameleon, just kind of going with the flow. I would say yes when I didn't really want to. And it was through my coaching program when I decided I was going to retire from my corporate job. I spent 40 plus years working in human resources management. And so when I was going to retire, I still wanted to do something. I still wanted to give back. And I found coaching and it's like, I wish I would have found it so many years ago because I really, really enjoy it. And so my, um, my, my focus is working with women who are, I call it experiencing their second spring. They're maybe at a crossroads of change. They're not quite sure what they want to do next. Maybe they've got an, now an empty nest, or maybe they just went through a divorce, unfortunately, or they're retired, you know, it's like, now what do I do? You know? And so I help them discover the real, um, their real passion that's just wanting to come out in, um, so that they can live their life full of confidence and joy and fulfillment. So, I love that. I love that. And I, I get that because a lot of my clients are also, you know, they're going through divorce, loss of a family member, starting something new, you know, ending something. And it's big. Um, so I'm so excited to, if I can provide you any support for for your space, because you have a home office, so your home is so important. So we're going to dive in. Um, so we are going to kind of take this two different ways today. First off, we're going to look at the home overall. And then we're going to look at a very special space, your Zen Den. And if if you're listening or watching and you don't have a Zen Den, this is your reminder to create a Zen Den. I say a Zen Den can even be as small as like a favorite chair where you can curl up with a cup of tea in your favorite book, right? <laughs> but Absolutely. Sandy here has, Sandy has her own Zen Den room, which is really fun. So we're going to get into that too. And of course, um, I have the floor plan here from Sandy. If you receive my newsletter, you'll be able to see an image of that. So you'll know kind of what we're talking about as we're going through. But let's talk about your home as a whole. So this is a new home for you. You said you moved in uh, 2022. Yeah, it'll it's it'll be two years in September. Okay. All right. How does it feel? Are you, are you excited moving in? I, well, yeah, I, I still am. I still, I love this space. Um, so it's fun. I'm, I, 
Okay. We moved from Bullhead City, which we really moved here to get away from the heat because in the summertime in okay. Bullhead, it can get up to like the other day, it was 124 there. And so here we actually, I met a, I moved up in elevation. We're at an elevation of 5,000. So we actually have seasons and we're in monsoon season right now. So we've been having thunderstorms every day. So, but I love it. I wow. love listening to the thunder and I love my home. So. Nice. On a scale of one to 10, one being not so much and 10 being fully settled. How do you, how settled do you feel in your home? Uh, I feel 10 because I mean, we've decorated, we've done, you know, what we're going to do. Um, and we're, you know, we're enjoying it. I don't, my husband spends more time outside than I do, partially because I'm sitting at the computer working on my business. But um, at the at our home in Bullhead, we had a pool. And so I would spend a lot of time, you know, in the pool. Um, and so I haven't I haven't embraced the outside as much here okay. as I did there. But um, but I inside, I'm very happy with I mean, I, I would like more color. I'll say because okay. you know right. my husband's not that. a he doesn't like a lot of color so okay. um, so we have very neutral colors so I put color where I can <laughs> small little accents if you if you can we'll throw exactly. pillows or candles I love <laughs> exactly. that exactly you know color doesn't have to be huge like I actually recently did a talk with a group of women and I was saying say you like blue your partner doesn't like blue. We don't have to paint a wall blue. Think about other ways you can access the color blue. Open the shades and allow more blue sky to be seen, right? Say you want to bring in more green. It doesn't have to be a green wall. Again, open the blinds and allow to see more green, right? Or even artwork with greens or blues or whatever color you, you're craving that your your spouse, your partner doesn't care for. It's a nice way to... Um, to bring those little touches in and the other thing too that i love to do is i love to wear certain colors mm -hmm. following the five element system i'll wear specific colors you know if i need to be more fluid like today you know recording an episode sometimes you have to kind of go with the flow so i always wear blue <laughs> most of the time right i love your pink it's kind of higher energy kind of fun which feels like you sandy <laughs> <laughs> i wear a lot of pink and purple so <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Well, I will, um, I'll put a link to, um, in the show notes to your website. Um, Sandy, you definitely purple. I think of you and I think of purple because it's, you, it's just a, all over your website and so pretty. So yeah. I will put a link in the show notes to go. If anyone wants to learn more about your work and work with you. Um, but let's look into your house. Let's dive in. So okay. when I initially look at the floor plan, the full floor plan, we typically want to look for more of a square or rectangular shape. And you're, it's really pretty balanced. You have a little area that juts out in the front, which I believe is the Zen Den room. Um, mm -hmm. Beyond that, it's really square. So it should generally be pretty easy to keep and balance. Um, I want you to make sure that that front entry, you walk in, then you walk down a hallway, right? Make sure that that front entry is light and bright and welcoming and inviting. So maybe this is an area to challenge your husband and see if you can bring in some more color or some more um, brighter lighting or just eye catching things in this area. What do you think? Yeah, we, when um, actually our front door is red, so, <laughs> which I, oh, I picked. Well, there you so, go. Yeah, and so, and when they come Spot in, on. I mean, if the light's on, it's brighter. We do have a plant and then I have right. some, wrought iron things you know on the wall and when you come in the front door you're actually looking directly at the slider towards the backyard which we have the blinds open except at night when it's dark we have the blinds open all the time and when the weather's nice okay. we actually even open the slider so and the front door the front door's nice. open right now um so we get the okay. you know the fresh air nice well, just see if there's anything you can do to maybe amp it up and just see. I always tell everyone any type of cure or adjustment or suggestion I make, give it six weeks. And if you don't like it, that's fine. Give it a try and see how it feels. I want to make sure because it's a long haul, longer hallway, I want to make sure that energy is really high there. Okay. okay. Um, the thing to remember in 
Um, a front foyer area, front entry area is to, you don't want to have a mirror facing the door, which is something I see often. I know, you know, sometimes no you want to <laughs> check the wild hair, you know, your lipstick before you head outside, but we don't really want to have any mirrors there. So just note that. Um, and then you did mention something that I actually want to talk about. So when you have your front door in alignment with a rear door, this can affect us financially, but there are easy things we can do. Okay. Um, you may find that, you know, you're not having trouble with income, but it's going out really fast. There's always a bill to pay, always a repair to be made, always something happening that that money has to go to. Okay. So there's a couple things that I would love for you to try and see if this makes any difference. Okay. So you walk down the hallway, and then off to the right, you have this living room area mm -hmm. and that far wall. So if you're looking at the floor plan, which I'll, again, I'll post in the newsletter, um, I'll also pop it up here on the screen so everybody can see it too. Um, the far right wall, I want you to put something really eye-catching. So that might be a TV, kind of the layout looks like it would work well for a TV, but There's I'd love to maybe there. get some artwork. What, what about artwork in that area? So when you walk in and you're, so you walk in and you're facing the rear door on the left is the kitchen on the right is the living room. So there's a big, big TV <laughs> and above the TV, cause it's a high ceiling above the TV. We have two large, um, they're photos. Actually, we got them. Uh, I think we got them at the marketplace in orange County, California. They're they're like beach scene, like a sunset almost um, on metal. Wow. Um, and so, yeah. And so there's two of them. They're quite large that are above the, okay. the TV. Okay. And then perfect. the fireplace is in the corner. Okay. Okay. And then is there anything on the kitchen side that you could amp up a bit to draw your eye? Because we want to, we want the energy is going from the front door straight to the back and we want to have things off to the side to catch our eye, to slow it down. Right. So maybe something mm -hmm. off to the left in the kitchen. So in the, so there's the kitchen and then there's the dining room and the dining room has a couple of windows. We have, um, I love our dining room table. Um, oh, and nice. then there's a, I don't know what you call it. It's a, like a server kind of thing that sits okay. and we don't, we just have it for storage, but above that, there's a very large kind of square shaped. Um, it's a, I guess it would be a painting. Um, it's on canvas, okay. not, there's no frame on it. It's a uh, frameless. And then next okay. to that, I think there's another metal piece of art. I can't even remember off the top of my head what it is. Um, <laughs> and then okay. there's flowers on the table. And then there's, Perfect. I have a few little, you know, decorative things on the, buff I guess it's a buffet. I don't know what you call it. Buffet. Okay. Okay. Um, so there's right. that. And then we have Perfect. a couple of artificial trees in okay. at the, um, at the far side of the, the, the way the dining room, it's like a, almost the shape of a bay window. There's just no seat there. So. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Well, I love the idea that you had flowers on your table, especially because you love it so much. It creates more of that connection, right? So I'd encourage you to always keep some fresh flowers. I love to give out permission slips to Every week, go buy some fresh flowers. <laughs> Maybe not every week. Whatever works for you. Um, sometimes I'll just go out into the woods and find pick something pretty. Um, yeah. I actually fat snagged some black eyed Susans today and put them in a little vase. You know, it's, you don't always have to go to, you know, the florist and buy the fancy bouquet. But flowers on your table is such a beautiful thing. Another great option is a bowl of fresh fruit. This also brings in the wood element too. And this, you know, then you have a great snack right there. <laughs> you need a healthy snack and, <laughs> and all the color. And it just definitely lives the energy too. So I'd love to see those um, two areas. Just keep working on that. Make sure, you know, maybe those beautiful beach scenes that you described, maybe just check in, make sure they don't need to be dusted or cleaned off, right? You've been in your home a couple of years, maybe a little bit's accumulated. Check in with the flowers on the other side, make sure they're you know, fresh and, you know, red, they, they're 
fresh and beautiful. And if they become spent, then, you know, toss them, of course, and get something new. Um, so just, just do a once over, check in with those eye catching pieces. Okay? okay. The other thing I want to check in with is with your fireplace. So um, I know you said you're where the seasons are. So you probably use it a lot in the winter time. Um, but I'm assuming you're not using it much now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No. Why would we use it? Well, this can really suck out any energy from that area of your home. Um, and that is your relationship, love and relationship area. So while this is your home, your, your business is in your home. So I would really think about checking in with this. So you don't have to use it. What I do in my home is I have these sweet little battery operated lights that are set to a timer and they come on every day and they twinkle and it's beautiful. I have some pretty like birch logs in there and then they go off at 10 o'clock, you know, so you can make it decorative. You can make it pretty. Do something to use the fireplace though. Okay. So this one is a, uh, it's a uh, electric. I guess you'd call it. We just okay. turn it on with a switch. So it doesn't. Okay. Um, and so there's a, a glass. I don't know what you call it. Glass okay. covering on it. So we don't, it's not wood burning. Um, okay. And then, okay. So, and then we but have. But think about the, how you could decorate around it. Yeah. Yeah. You know? We have plants around just... it, I think. So artificial, but. Okay. See, see if you can do something to lighten, brighten, bring more energy to that area. Maybe a pink or red um, or even a yellow coloring or orange just to kind of amp up that energy there. Okay. okay. I think that's going to that's gonna connect to the love and relationship gua and also connect to that wealth and abundance. So we always, you know, want to keep, keep wealth and abundance flowing happily throughout our home. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> awesome. All right. Like so let's jump into your Zen Den. Again, if you are watching or listening and you don't have a Zen Den, go home tonight and start planning your Zen Den. It can be a nook. It can be a corner. It does not have to be a full room like Sandy has, <laughs> but <laughs> some sort of space where you can, you can let go you can recharge, you can just find quiet time. You know, maybe that's it. your kids are playing in the next room. You put some earbuds in, listen to you, some relaxing music and meditate for 10 minutes. Um, <laughs> so tell me about your Zen then and how it makes you feel. Oh, well, it's everything in there is pretty much me. Um, my husband will go in there and watch because there's a TV in there. He'll go in there when I want to call or something. He'll sometimes be in there watching TV or on his phone or something, but mostly it's me. So when I get up in the morning, that is the first place I go. Um, nice. And so, and I'll spend typically an hour, maybe longer in there. And I do my meditation. I do my journaling. I do um, my devotional reading, sometimes I'm doing self Reiki, um, kind of just whatever, you know, whatever I'm in need of, um, you know, at, at the moment, um, but definitely every morning it's meditation journaling and the devotional reading. Those are like all the time. And then the others I, I add in, um, you know, like I said, as needed. So, um, and my husband knows to, um, kind of don't come in. <laughs> and so he leaves me alone. The door's open usually, but he, he leaves me alone. Um, I had like lately, like I was writing in my journal the other day, I'd already done my meditation. He gets up well after I do usually. And so um, I was writing in my journal and he came in to say good morning, you know, so, and I wanted to say, please don't come in here. <laughs> I'm doing this, <laughs> but no, because normally he doesn't, because when I'm meditating, my eyes are closed. So he knows, you know, don't come in. But I, because I was writing, I guess, you know, I don't know. So there, there once in a while he'll, he'll come in, but most of the time he, you know, he doesn't. So that's like my space. So, and I have in the nice. one corner um, and I noted it on the floor plan as an I call it an altar, but I have like a bunch of crystals and stuff on there. 
on my um, hope chest, it's I have a lot of like candles and um, I have a smudge stick with a feather and um, you know and that nice. type of thing. I have a little it's a decorative table on that, that I'm like looking at. It's got turtles all over it because you've probably seen how much I love turtles and so I have turtles everywhere. So that's, there's a bunch of those in there. I have a, a bookcase that, that my dad built that um, we used to have, it was, used to be two pieces. I'm not sure what happened to the bigger one, but I have the small one left. So I keep it because he built it. So there's okay. a lot of books, you know, on there, more turtles. <laughs> I love that. So, yeah. Well, I love where your, where your bookcase is located too, because again, that connects to um, love and relationships and that's your relationship to your father. So maybe, you know, you can take a moment and just really acknowledge this space or connection to him. Um, I love that. So can I ask, um, what type of things do you have on your altar? You there, mentioned some um, crystals. And yeah, it's all, it's different crystals. Um, there's, a, there's, turtles on the second shelf it's full of turtles <laughs> um there's a little lamp <laughs> that it. sits, sits on there um but on the altar it's all different kinds of of crystals um just ones that i've collected you know through through the, the last couple of years and so that's just you know there i don't necessarily nice. do a whole lot you know with it um, but they're there i have okay. you know it's kind of the and every once in a while like the like i have crystals on sitting in front of me on my desk on my computer table and every once in a while you know on the full moon I'll I take them outside and let them sit out overnight to recharge um you know Perfect. And that I love that. so yeah nice nice you know something I love to do is I I uh, create a new altar on my desk to connect to my work and I'll change it up you know as the seasons or kind of whatever's happening in my work and in my life um, so, you know, I think that's kind of fun. I don't know if that's something you take on now or, you know, anyone watching or listening, you know, you don't have to create an altar. It isn't a one and done kind of thing. It can kind of morph over time and shift as you get new little treasures or meaningful mementos to add to this. And maybe some you're ready to move on from. So remember that an altar can kind of be shifting over and morphing over time. Good point. Um, so let's dive into the energy of your uh, Zen Den. Um, so this is actually in the very front of your home. And mm -hmm. this connects to the career gua. So this is really interesting. I'd love to see if I'm trying to think about that altar. And if you could put something in that altar to symbolize your work and your next steps with your work or your goals with your work? What do you think? Hmm. Well, I think um, I do have a, I have a, um, what do you call it? It's a, um, it's a little, I guess, statue for lack of a better description of, <laughs> um, is it get, get, Ganesh, 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 yeah, I think that's who yeah, it is. Perfect. That's on there. Um, okay. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think because you know, I mean, part of what I do when I'm coaching, I am, you know, I'm always, I'm, I'll be, I would be in there. I don't do my coaching in there, but I'm in there like for prep, you know, doing the breath work and the mindset and all that. And so it's that energy, you know, that that's in there that. and, per, yeah. you know, and just getting into space, grounding and centering and, you know, mm -hmm. and that sort of thing. Um, you know, and so um, I do pendulum dowsing, tarot reading. I do have some decks of cards that are in a basket, you know, on, on the ground in there. Um, and I, you know, change okay. them around okay. depending on what I'm using at the time. So. Yeah. Well, I'd encourage you just to be very symbolic of doing this, you know, chat today to do something to symbolize your career in that room. 
And that could be setting up an altar, that could be moving two pieces of art around, that could be rearranging whatever, but something mm -hmm. really symbolic. So, you know, you know, set up a ceremony, make a whole thing out of it, but be really intentional with this infusing your Zen Den with the right energy for success in your career. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I like that. I wanted to uh, mention this. This is this career gua. So we have the Bagua map, right? This is a map we use with um, nine different energy centers of your home, right? And this front one is this career gua, and it connects to the water element. All right, we have our five element system: the fire, water, wood, earth, and metal. And the water is all about fluidity, right? Um, feeling free, loosey goosey, going with the flow, creativity too, right? Um, so I'd love to, if you don't already have some blue in there, bring in some blue or some black colors, okay? Um, or all maybe wavy patterns. It does, if, if your partner, your spouse does not care for blue, again, you can go for wavy patterns. Maybe um, you have the sofa bed there, maybe some throw pillows with a wavy or watercolor um, pattern to them. That will help too, as well as artwork. Artwork depicting water would be good. Or, or if you really want to do something awesome, oh my gosh, a tabletop fountain might be my favorite. It's, it's a little commitment mm. to cleaning it, but a tabletop fountain, when you're meditating and breathing, and that could be a really cool thing. I like that. I haven't had one of those yeah. in a while. I like that. Um, the nice. sofa bed nice. is so, yeah. kind of a bluish gray color. Okay. To me, it's kind of bluish, and the throw pillows okay, on perfect. there are, are black. <laughs> so. Ooh spot on i love it yeah, you're ahead yeah. of it <laughs> and they have a little bit of the two of them they're round and they have a little bit of a design on them so um nice yeah nice. so i think i think we're there but Isn't i it like cool that how things sometimes fountain. i know yeah 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 it's nice how sometimes things just kind of magically appear where we need them so if that's the case then i just like to tell people take a moment to acknowledge this Take a moment to like appreciate that that sofa is blue and it's going to bring you that water element and support you. Okay. Um, let's see. And again, black too, pops of black if that feels right to you. Because when we talk about the water element, it's not just the color blue. It's looking deep down into the ocean, navy blue, even to the depths of the ocean where it's black. Okay. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is you have the hallway coming to the Zen Den. And mm -hmm. just like the front entry, I want you to make sure that's light and bright as well. Because we want to make sure plenty of energy is getting to that Zen Den. Okay. Okay. There's also uh, several doors in that area. So what I'd like you to do is hang a cut glass prism, like a window prism, in this hallway. That will help balance out the energy of all those doors moving and help energy flow freely down the hallway into that Zen Den. Okay. I know I'm giving you a lot of projects and I don't mean to. <laughs> I'm excited. We do get a lot of, um, cause we have a lot of windows and like, like even here in my office, I have three smaller windows that are higher and we don't have window coverings. And in the Zen Den, there's two of those same types of windows and there's no coverings on those windows either. We have some, uh, we put some like uh, decorative wrought iron corner pieces just, you know, for decoration oh, nice. and they're, they're black also, yeah. um, <clears throat> but, All right. um, but, there's wind. I mean, I love the windows in this house. And I also love the fact that no matter what phase the moon is in, I can see it out of one of my windows somewhere. So yeah, That's there's a, a lot of times I'll walk even that. in here in this room and I'll see it. And I'm like, Jim, Jim, come here, look at this. <laughs> or the, the full moon I can see out of sometimes my shower uh, window, which is high. You know, I walk into the bathroom and, and I can see the full moon. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh my it gosh. Excites me. That's exciting. 
I bet. Yeah. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. Um, well, there's only one other thing I wanted to go over really quickly. So we always want balance, right? We want balance. If we're working on, say, one corner, we want to work on the opposite corner, right? To create balance. So we're working on the very front of your home. So I want to check in with the very rear of your home, which is that dining eating area. Okay. So this is, it's interesting. It's connected to fame and reputation. So it's the fame and reputation energy center. So it doesn't mean you're famous, but it's like, when I think of Sandy, I think of purple and I think of turtles. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want people to think of something different, maybe this is an area that you want to, <laughs> to approach. Um, this, this connects to the red, the fire element. Okay. The color red fuchsia, bright, bright colors here. Um, and, and candles would be great here. I know you have a lot of sunlight, so that's really nice, but maybe, maybe some really beautiful candles or refresh any candles you currently have some little pops of red or fuchsia, um, because you, you know, you have your own business. This is you, you have to be visible people, you know, you have to make sure people see you. Right. And so that's what this gua is all about. So we want to balance the front career gua and this gua as well. So again, red. Um, and then the fire element. Um, any questions? No, I do have two um, candles. Um, they're in like a tall glass, clear glass, you know, almost like a vase kind of thing. Okay. Right now they're like a, I think, white or cream color. So maybe I switch those out for okay. red. I would love that. Yeah, a pair of two red or two bright pink. That'd be nice, perfect. Well, I hope I haven't overwhelmed you with to do's. Um, mm -hmm. I think they're going to be fun and easy. And again, you know, you know all about ceremony and everything, Sandy. I've, but once you, you know, to anyone listening, whenever you're implementing these cures, these adjustments, I like the word adjustment much better than cure. Whenever you're implementing any of these adjustments, really do it with intention. The more intention you can have, the more impact it the results will be. So um, light a candle, turn on some music, turn on some positive music. You know, I also say if you plan to do something tomorrow, implement something in your home and you wake up and you have a migraine or you didn't sleep well, put it off until the next day. It's okay. It doesn't have to be done that day. Do it when your body is feeling strong and healthy and well, and you're in a positive mindset. Um, so Sandy, I have no doubt you'll have no problem implementing these things. Do you have anything um, special ceremony wise that you think you might add to this as you're implementing some things? Maybe add some crystals or something? Um, I would have to give that some thought. I mean, I typically would do um, like a meditation and, um, and then, you know, I've just been do I've been listening actually to a podcast recently on manifesting and being and that's talking about that being, you know, intentional and purposeful, you know, and that type of thing. So I'm, mm -hmm. you know, learning that part of it. So um but I think, you know, something I along those lines and being very, like you said, being very intentional about, you know, I hadn't, I haven't changed things up in that room. Actually, I don't think since I, I mean, as I've added things, but I haven't added anything in quite a while. And so, um, okay. you know, I like the idea of moving things around and there is nothing on the walls currently. I have some photo, okay. some uh, artwork that actually has like pinks and reds and yellows in it that I intend to put on those walls. They're women. Um, there's some, um, okay. I forget the artist's name, they need, but three of them need to be reframed. And that's what's holding, <laughs> we've been sitting here and, you know, I still haven't taken it to taken them to be reframed, but they're very flowy. Um, they're, they're not the water element color, but they give kind of that. Um, I'll have to send you pictures just, for your own information so that. you can see them. But yeah. I love the photos. I, I have the pictures. I haven't gotten oh. rid of them, um, but the, the frames are a little nicked and set. So I want to get them reframed. So 
just hasn't all right well this this priority. is your <laughs> th this is your push to get those yeah. reframed then <laughs> <laughs> you give it a little absolutely. push. This is it. <laughs> um, and Definitely. then I want you to, when, yeah, when you hang them up, then I want you to, you know, really be intentional, right? Do it. And then look at your calendar. And in six weeks, I'm going to check back in and I want to know how things are feeling, um, how your work is going, how your relationships with new clients you know, is going and I want to hear all about it. So, um, awesome. in the meantime, if you have any questions, please reach out. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much. I wrote down everything. And so I'll be working on that. So. <laughs> awesome. Thanks again, Sandy. And again, I will be sharing all the information, um, about Sandy's amazing work in the show notes. Um, if you don't get currently get my newsletter, I'll also put a link in the show notes for that as well. So you can sign up, get the newsletter, and then you'll be able to see an image of the floor plan whenever we do an audit and you'll be first to be notified of any special events. Thank you, everyone. I will see you next time. Special thanks to our production company, Influencer.TV, the WELT 95.7 Studios, and our sponsor, Good G. For more information, head over to the show notes. Be sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and give us a five-star review. I'll see you next time.